A bouquet of flowers. Yes, that's right. Today I'm turning a cake into a bouquet of flowers for who? Yo mama. Hi everyone, my name's Moesha. Welcome to Kowali Pops. Let's get started. <sighs> Happy Mother's Day 2020. Happy Mother's Day 2024. We'll still be around. I know that it's 2020. We're probably entering a bit of a recession but I hope this cake brightens up your day. Oh, and also, in 2024, we're exiting the recession, and look, we made it! High five! I decided to make a Mother's Day cake, obviously because I have a mom, but also I was raised by three women, my mom and my two aunts. And so Mother's Day is like extra special to me because I've had so many female influences in my life that have all really shaped who I am. Now the bottom of this cake is made of three four inch half dome cakes and then the top is made with a six inch round cake and then a six inch dome cake. Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you want me to make for Father's Day. My dad is a huge basketball fan. We live in California, he likes Lakers. So should I make a Laker jersey or some Air Jordans? Mm, Kobe's? Kobe has a shoe or Kobe's. Now for the bottom of the vase, I'm going to be paneling green fondant. What color green? Let's look. I love this. It keeps it so organized, you guys. Oh, it's like a hep green. That's a terrible name. Yeah, that one, that one doesn't spark joy. So we got some hep green fondant paneled all the way around the cake to create my vase. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of texture with some fondant tools and hide the seam in the back. And this texture actually really hides the seam. Then I'm going to add a bow. Like I said, I was raised by three women. My auntie Grace was the one that took care of us when we were younger. All of my relatives would just like drop their kids off at my house and my auntie Grace would watch all of us. It was crazy. Kind of hectic, but it was like the best childhood ever because all of my cousins were in one place. Now in this video, I also want to highlight organizations that are helping people who are deeply affected by the coronavirus. So if you can donate your time or your money, then please do. Now for the top of this cake, I am using buttercream. I thought it would look loads better. And also I didn't have to cut out each individual fondant flour. It's terrible. I've tried it. It sucks. That's why I went with buttercream. And I also really wanted to try my Russian piping tips. My second aunt, Auntie Perla, or I call her mommy. I mean, it's very well known that she had two favorites. <laughs> I guess who was one of them. And she always took us out to eat. She always made sure that we had really nice clothes. And I remember when I was younger, she bought me like this jean jacket from Sears. Oh, I loved it. And I would go into school just like strutting my jean jacket. Like Instagram poses all day. And this cake is kind of fitting for her because she loves to garden. And last but definitely not least, I want to celebrate my mom. She raised three kids, my brother and my sister, and you know, it wasn't easy. I'm a monster when I'm angry. I'm like a trash person when I'm angry. I curse a lot, you guys. <laughs> you might not know it, but I do. I've watched her grow into such a beautiful person. She was an engineer in the Philippines, and then when we were struggling with money, she became an RN. And within like a few years, she was the DON of her psych facility, and psych facilities are very stressful. Her and my dad came to America with hopes and dreams for us, even before we were born, and for that, I'm very thankful. After I finished adding all of my flowers, look at that, just a bunch of different piping tips. My cake was done! What do you think? It's kind of stunning, isn't it? It looks like an old lady's painting, because it's all pastel. You know old ladies, they always have like those pastel flowers on their walls. This is what it looks like in cake form. Raise your hand if your grandma has some pastel flowers on her wall. Now the piping tips ended up being a little too small, so I enhanced them with a leaf tip. And I just kind of put them on the end so that they would look like a larger flower. So for Mother's Day this year, it's me and my sister. We're going to our parents' house. We're not allowed in the house. We just enter through the side and then we sit at separate tables that are like 10 feet apart. And my cousins and I usually all get together and celebrate Mother's Day as a group, but this pandemic has really changed how we interact with each other. And like I said, there might not be a lot of people around you, but there are a lot of people that love you. And so even though we're not able to get together this year, I know we're thinking about each other. 
Now I'm very curious about how you guys are going to be celebrating your Mother's Day in quarantine. Let me know in the comments. Happy Mother's Day everyone. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!